you need to be a little bit careful with IRR as it has two slight problems. The first one is that, for example, this project here that returns 50%, the assumption is that if you take this 8,700 8, in cash, put it into another investment, IRR assumes that you'll achieve the same amount, which when the IRR is very hard is probably unlikely. So there is another function in Excel called MIRR. We don't see it used much in the business world, but it's useful to know about. And the benefit of this one is it asks you at what rate do you get your money? So this 20,000, how much does it cost you in interest? And when you get money out, where are you gonna put it? What return are you gonna get? So we've assumed that we get our money and it's free, 0%. But when we put it and we reinvest it, the project can only achieve 11%, not the 50%. So if I go and find the MIRR, which stands for Modified Internal Rate of Return, it asks for the values, we need to highlight them all. It then says, what do you finance it at? I'm going to say 0%. What do you reinvest it at? 11%. When I say OK, I get a return of 32.23%. So there's quite a big difference between these IRRs. The difference here is that this one assumes that you can reinvest it at, in a project of similar return, whereas this one then allows you to say, no, we'll get a, a lower return.